Okay guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a bit of an update because I promised that I'd do an update this week. Um, so I'll just talk about the projects that I've got going on at the moment. Um, so Mick Taylor, he's almost finished. I just got, I just had to do his back and his arms. And I might make some custom weapons for him, you know, I might give him a bowie knife and a... I might make a strap for his rifle. Or his sniper or whatever it was. Uh, this is, this is my upcoming Part 7 Jason Voorhees, because Part 7 is my favorite Friday the 13th film. Um, I won't be using this body, I'll be using a different body. Um... The head is actually finished, except for the straps. I'm going to add cloth ones. Um, yeah. Uh, that's also what I'm doing for my remake Jason, because I'm doing a version 3 of him. Uh, so yeah, he's going to have cloth straps on his mask, and there's a few other changes I'll be making to him. Uh, there's the new sack mask also. Um, I need to get around to reviewing, uh, these Halo guys. You know, uh, they're already on my Flickr, but I, I really want to do a video where I can explain how I made them and stuff, so, yeah, hopefully I can make a video on them. Um, I also want to get a video done on Wonder Woman because I've upgraded her to make her look better. Uh, I'm making my own custom version of Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, I'm using the, the head from the official minifigure and the body's gonna be completely custom. Like, yeah. I'm probably gonna go with the, uh, the hoodie look of him. Cause I, th I think he looks cool like that. Oh, I've already I've already added pupils to his eyes to make it more movie accurate. Um, what else? Um, when I show the remake Jason, the upgraded version, I'll be showing it in a video with a bunch of other upgraded horror customs I've been working on. And uh, maybe some new ones too. Um, I was going to make some Batman Arkham Origins customs, but I've sort of, uh, had to cancel that project because, um, I just felt I couldn't really bring any new ideas to making those characters. Because, you know, a lot of other people have already made them before me, and I just felt that you know, a lot of other people had made really good ones, and I couldn't really do any better. Um, but you never know, I might come back to doing that project in the future. Um, another thing, my Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 remake trailer. Yeah, this is the basically the stop-motion Lego version of the trailer. Like I did with Texas Chainsaw 3D, you know, it's the same exact thing as I did with that, except this time I actually downloaded the real trailer and for like the titles and the logos and stuff, I'm actually using pieces of the real trailer. So it'll look a lot better. See, like that right there. Um, I haven't got the sound synced in perfectly yet, because I haven't filmed it, all the footage yet. I still have to do a lot of animating. I've got, like, all of the middle section of it finished, though. Um, and yeah, I'm also doing a, an upgraded version of the Texas Chainsaw 3D trailer with, you know, just a better quality version with better sound. And it'll also have this same, uh, like, 
you know, logos and titles from the actual trailer, you know, to make it look more professional. And I might actually upload it in 3D this time, you know, because I've been wanting to test out the, the 3D option that YouTube has. And, yeah, I got one of these surfboards, so I might paint that, and, uh, yeah, I'll use that as the new board for my Silver Surfer. Um, I have a lot of other Jason minifigures I'm going to be making, too, uh, but I just want to get these two done first. Um... What else? Uh, yeah, I have also lots of other Marvel type customs um, that I need to review, and uh, but yeah, those might not be for a while. But anyway, um, yeah, those are basically all the current projects that I have. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more and see you next time.